Hello, my name is Orlando Fidges and I'm here to introduce a new MA course, Five Books That Changed History. In this MA module, we're going to be reading very closely five really influential history books and exploring their impact on the particular historical disciplines they have helped to develop. So, in order, we will be reading Natalie Zeman Davis's classic work, The Return of Martin Gare, which is an analyst work using um, judicial archives from the 16th century to explore the question of identity, particularly gender identity, in the early modern period. Then, we'll be moving on to E.P. Thompson's The Making of the English Working Class, a Marxist work that has influenced labour and social history ever since its publication in the 1960s. Third, we'll be looking at a book perhaps more cited than read, Benedict Anderson's hugely important Imagined Communities, a work that has looked at the development of national identity as a construction, if you like, from the early modern period. Our fourth book is Edward Said's Orientalism, a hugely controversial work that looked at the ways Western writers and artists had seen the East and which has had a massive impact on post-colonial studies and ideas of empire. The fifth and final book is a work of oral history, Alessandro Portelli's The Order Has Been Carried Out, which uses interviews, oral testimonies, to unpack the perspective that ordinary people can have on the reconstruction of an event, a particular event in history. In this case, a Nazi massacre in Rome during the Second World War. For each of these five books, we will be spending two weeks. In the first week, we will examine the book in detail, take it apart, look at how its argument is constructed. And in the second week, we will examine the criticisms of the works, the controversies they have generated. So this is a hugely beneficial opportunity, I think, for you to widen your areas of interest in history, open up possible new fields of study for you, and also to see how historians really work, both in the uh, research and writing of their books, but also in the way they are often forced to defend them in the public domain. Because any really important historical work, as all these five books are, is bound to be controversial.